Chain Your Mind Radio Broadcast. Brother Jacob, bringing you the word of God, Israel. Understand why we got to keep the commandments. So-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Israelites in the Bible. Chain Your Mind Radio Broadcast. Change your mind. Keep the commandments of God. Hey, Shalom, Israel. Welcome to a Chain Your Mind radio broadcast. Of course, you know people celebrating pagan Christmas, all right? Which the Israelites, so called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we don't supposed to be celebrating. So, basically, we're going to go over some scriptures concerning the paganism of the so called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, why we should not be celebrating pagan Christmas, all right? First, I want to read a little article. Basically, where Christmas oriented from, all right? Uh, we're going to start with this article. Uh, it's, it's about December 25th, where it, it was observed and um, where it actually came from. So, December, December 25th was observed and far and wide among the ancient world. Uh, this day was the birth date of the unconquered sun, uh, the Yule, long represented the dead stock of the slain Nimrod, which is our supposed rebel against the Lord after the flood. Uh, of course, you can read that in the book of Genesis, chapter 10, 8 through 10. All right. So in Christmas, the Christmas tree represent what's supposed to be the Nimrod reborn, the slain God that come to life. That's why people put up their uh, Christmas trees, because they come from them uh, honoring Nimrod. That's why Christmas... You see a lot of people uh, going out and buying Christmas trees and getting Christmas lights and everything and uh, putting it on and celebrating this pagan day, which the Israelites, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, uh, should not be celebrating as God's chosen people. Now we're just going to read a little bit of this article. Then I'm um, just going to go to some short scriptures just to let you know that this is pagan. This is what the nations celebrate but it's not for us as israelites to celebrate so once again uh, my name is uh, brother jacob israel welcome to and change your mind radio broadcast i right, just like i said it's a broadcast that um we'll be going over certain topics uh concerning uh the sins that affect our people and things that our people follow which is against keeping up the uh, commandments of god so i'm going to read a little bit about this article uh once again, this is concerning uh, paganism, which is uh, December 25th. Uh, America and the nations celebrate supposedly the birth of Christ. But well, of course, we know this is paganism. So we're going to read this article here. Uh, once again, <coughs> uh, the, lo the largest pagan religious cult, which fosters sun worship in the Greek and Roman words, worlds on December 25th was the cult of mentorism, all right, which is, they call, it is the nativity, they call it the nativity of the sun, or mantras, uh, the sun god, uh, so was supposed to have been born at this time, but so was Ar Arises, Horus, Tammuz, Hercules, Bacchus, Adonis and Jupiter, and these are all the pagan messiahs. So, of course, you know the nations follow a bunch of idol gods. Um, this fact also would seem to indicate that all these pagan sun gods and deities trace their roots back to the organs, original sun god of ancient Babylon, Nimrod. All right, uh, this popular with a festival became such an established custom. And in pagan Rome and Greece, Egypt, and throughout Europe, the period of the winter solace was a time of great reveling and festivities, which they still have festivals now celebrating the same thing in Christmas uh, on Nimrod and other idol gods that the nations uh, celebrate. It says in Rome, it became known as the Satorala in honor of the god Saturn, the hidden one. Saturn was another name for Nimrod, who, who late in his apostolate 
went into hiding from Shem, the son of Noah. The feast of Saturn, his love, as lasted five days. Loose reeds was given to drunkenness and reveling. Uh, slaves had temporary emancipation and used all manner of freedoms uh, with their master. This was precisely the way in which, according to Barassus, the drunken festival of the month, Tebel, answering to our descendant, in other words, the fest festival of Bacchus was celebrated in Babylon. So as you can see, Christmas is a day that the Edomites, the Romans, and the Greeks uh, customs and our people followed it through their assimilation. So once again, my name is Brother Jacob Israel. You're on and change your mind. Radio broadcast. So we're going to go over some scriptures concerning uh, why we should not be celebrating any of these idle uh, holidays, which is today, uh, December 25th, that America, you saw the rest of called white men, all the other nations celebrate as Christmas. But we're going to go into the Bible. Let's go to the book of Colossians, chapter 2. And we're going to read verse 8. Book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. So as Israelites, so-called black Hispanic Native Americans, God told us as his chosen people not to follow any of these nations' traditions or worship their idols. Alright? So the book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, in the word of God. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Because once again, Christmas is a pagan holiday. It's paganism. It's a vain deceit of men that they celebrated. And like I said, it's seen from uh, celebrating uh, Nimrod by the tree. All right? So that's the vain deceit that God is saying that the nations would present to us for us to be deceived by. So once again, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit at the tradition of men. And this is American tradition. Tradition. This is a Babylonian tradition. Once again, like I said, it started in Greece and Rome and it spread it around and became a worldwide festivity among the nations. After the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Because uh, this is not after Christ, all right? Um, we know that we did not uh, celebrate, Christ did not celebrate uh, his birthday. We were not told to celebrate the uh, birth date of Christ, all right? So we, we know that this is paganism for us, us not to celebrate it, that is that of the nation. All right, let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and we're going to start at verse 1. Once again, welcome. This is Unchain your mind, ready your broadcast. My name is Brother Jacob. And we're going over just some simple scriptures why the nation of Israel, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites of the Bible, should not be celebrating these pagan holidays and taking part in these festivities that the nations proclaim to be theirs. All right. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye. The word which the Lord speaking unto you, O house of Israel. So this is the prophet Jeremiah speaking to the nation of Israel. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaking unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. Saith who? Saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. So God said the nations would be dismayed at the signs of heaven, right? Which means they would worship things like the stars, they would the fish, the moon. They would worship these things, right? And once again, this paganism of Christmas is of Nimrod, and they're worshiping them. Once again, they go into the woods and they cut a tree out of the forest and they put lights on it and they put it in their house and they celebrate that day. So that is a heathen custom, all right? Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 3. For the customs. So the customs are the ways. The ways that the nation perceived their idol gods. For the customs of the people are vain. 
For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. So as you can see, God said they deck it with silver and gold, which means they also put different type of bulbs on it. They run strings of um, different colors uh, of of uh, hangers on it, which is like silver and gold and green, all different types of fashion as they put the tree, they fashion it with it. So as you can see, <coughs> the Bible is a true book. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it not move. Verse 5, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 5. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot be not afraid of them for they cannot do evil neither also it is written neither also it is in them to do good so god said for us not to fear all right first of all we don't fear because one one thing is it's it's, it's idolatry all right it's it has no power all right matter of fact we're going to hold that we're going to go to the book of psalms chapter 96 and then we're going to come back all right once again, my name is Brother Jacob Israel. This is Unchain Your Mind radio broadcast. Where we bring out simple scriptures that uh, people have to address uh, things they should not do as far as breaking God's laws and following the ways of the nations and any of their pagan holidays is something that is required of God to the nation of Israel for us not to follow, all right? The book of Psalms, chapter 96, verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heaven. So all of this is idolatry. Christmas is another day of idolatry. All right? These days that the nation celebrate and these festivities and these festivals that they have, just like their New Year, just like the 4th of July, all of these, just like Thanksgiving, all of these are days that they set up that God told us not to follow. Once again, as you read in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 3, for the customs. So these are all customs. These, these are customary uh, things that the nations have. For the customs, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. So this is talking about Christmas. The work of the hands of the work with the axe. Verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that is not moved. So as you can see, a lot of times when you're out and you're around and about during this time before uh, they start to honor the 25th, you actually go by a lot of places and you see a lot of trees out for sale and you see the people saying, hey, come over and buy this tree. So actually you, you can see that they actually cut these trees out of the forest. All right. So once again, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 3, for the customs of the people are vain. So God said the custom of these nations. You saw the red so-called white men, all these other nations. God said, these are customs. These customs are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of his hands, are the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Verse 5. They are upright as a palm tree, but speak it not. So they stick straight up, all right? They sit straight up, pointing straight up. Sometimes they set them in a bucket, sometimes... They have it on an actual stand, all right? It's like a four-pronged stand, all right? They are, all, they are all upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid. God said, what? Be not afraid of them, for they can, cannot do evil. Neither also it is in them to do good. Verse 6. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great and might. Who would not fear thee, O king of nations? For to thee do it fifth appertain for as much as among all the wise men of the nations and in all the kingdoms there is none like unto thee. So God tell us to fear them not. All right. So remember, this is just another idol that the nations had. Let's read verse 8. The book of Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 8. 
but they are altogether brutish and foolish. So this is a foolish custom. As you can see, they're all out in the streets. They're all buying gifts. Uh, a lot of times you see a lot of our people out there shopping. They're spending thousands and thousands of dollars just for this foolishness, this, this, this idolatry, all right? So once again, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 8. But they are altogether brutish and foolish. Brutish and foolish. The stock is a doctrine of vanities, which means of lies. Because like I said, once again, we read about the custom that is sprang from what? Nimrod, the Romans and Greek customs of Tammu, all right? The, he, he, the Egyptians, all right? And Isis. All of these are just idol gods of the nation. So this is, this is all doctrine of vanities and lies. It, it has no weight. All right. Remember, it has no weight. All right. Let us go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17. All right. So once again, we just going over a little bit about why the nation of Israel, the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans should not be celebrating any pagan holidays, including this pagan Christmas that the nations are celebrating right now. <coughs> the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17. They sacrifice unto devils, not to God. So God said these nations, they sacrifice the devils. These, this is idolatry. And a lot of our people, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they participate in celebrating this idolatry, which is sin according to the law, statutes, and commandments of God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17 again. They sacrifice unto devils. So a lot of our people, they willingly sacrifice unto devils. They really go along with these nations celebrating these pagan holidays like Christmas, like Thanksgiving, like Fourth of July, like New Year's. They willingly do this. That comes from being assimilated and turning what their back on keeping the commandments of God. They sacrifice unto devils, not to God. To gods whom they do not. To new gods that came newly up whom your fathers feared not. Because once again, we was reading in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10. It said, God told us not to fear these idols. This is just idolatry. It had no power. Remember, this is just something that is made up. All right? So we got to remember not to follow the ways of the heathen and celebrating these traditional holidays which is that of the nations right? that belongs to the nations so we should not entertain uh, any of those things all right let us go to the book of let's go to the book of once again, this is a chain your mind, ready your broadcast, and our people just continue to be assimilated and follow the ways of these nations. All right, let us go to the book of First Corinthians, chapter one. First Corinthians, chapter three, verse seventeen. All right. So, as the nation of Israel, we have to remember, God said for us not to participate, not to take on these customs, all right? These, these vanities, which are lies, all right? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse, we're going to read verse 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that... The Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Spirit of God dwell in us as the nation of Israel. God said for us not to follow the nations in idolatry. We should have the spirit of understanding that we must keep the commandments of God. We must honor our days like the Sabbaths, the new moons, Feast of Tabernacles, all right? Day of Pentecost. These, these are our days that are given to the nation of Israel. But remember, the nations have idol gods of days they make up, like pagan Christmas, all right? From Nimrod, and from Tammuz, and from Isis. All of this is idolatry, all right? Which is formed through the Christian church, all right? And this was used to celebrate their paganism, all right? But God said in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, 
Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the spirit of God is supposed to dwell in us. For us to what? For us to obey and keep the commandments of God. That's the spirit that's supposed to be in us. We don't suppose to allow another spirit to overtake us, which is vanity and lies, all right? Verse 17, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple are ye? Because when we follow the ways of the heathen, we are defiling our temple. We're defiling our spiritual temple, and that's sin. And God will destroy us in our sin. All right. Once again, remember. Let's, let us go back to Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two. All right. And we're gonna read verse seventeen again. Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two. We're gonna read verse seventeen because remember, our spiritual temple is the spirit within us that we apply God's law, statutes, and commandments to to keep the commandments. Which means we have to apply. What is given to us as far as God saying for us not to what? Follow the ways of the nations. That's why he said in Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 17. They sacrifice unto devils, not to God. To gods whom they knew not. So us as the nation of Israel, God said spiritually when we do that, we're defiling that temple. We're sacrificing unto what? Unto devils, right? Not to God. To gods whom they do not. To new gods. They, this is a new gods that springed up. All right? That came newly up whom your fathers knew not. Who your fathers feared not. Because we feared, we feared not these idol gods. Because there were nothing. Remember, let us go to the book of Psalms chapter 96 verse 5 again. So we understand that. Once again, this is a change your mind. Radio broadcast. My name is Brother Jacob. And we still be going over some scriptures why people have to read the Bible and understand it clearly so we can avoid following the ways of the heathen. So we don't see any type of lust or desire to go back into that idolatry, which is simply lies, which is not beneficial to us as the people of God. Once again, the book of Psalms, chapter 96, verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. So God said, all these nations that worship these gods. It's idols. This is idolatry. It has no purpose for us. But the Lord made the heavens. All right? So remember, the Lord told us to stay away from what? The nations. Remember, he told us to stay away from the nations, the traditions of the nations. Let's go to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Once again, my name is Brother Jacob. This is Enchain Your Mind Radio Broadcast. And we simply want our people to understand we must stay away from these traditional holidays of the nations. Like here in America, he saw the risk for white men and all the other nations not to follow none of these philosophies. Because God will destroy us in our sin. Uh, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. So God said, come out from among the things that they are doing. Which, what, destroy us as a people. Spiritually destroy our temple. Because when we entertain that, we're destroying our spiritual temple. God had to put us to death. Because now we are defiled. Remember, they're not us. God chose us to be a holy people to himself. A special people. Above all people that are from the face of the earth. When you read Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. So, remember, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. So we understand exactly what's saying. Then we're going to go back. Deuteronomy chapter 7, and we're going to read verse 6. Remember, we cannot go in the ways of the nations. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For there are unholy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above, not participating in the things that they're doing, which are evil, above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. So God said we're above them. All right. What they do, we don't do. So once again, let's go back to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, in the word of God. So God is telling the nation of Israel, so-called black is mass and native Americans, not to participate in these things, not to desire these things. Because I know a lot of us, we grew up 
in our houses when we were young at young age and we celebrated Christmas, we celebrated birthdays, and we celebrated a lot of the traditional holidays of America. But now as we get the understanding that God said, this is not a part of us spiritually, this should not even be within our spirit to desire. We must separate ourselves from it, understand God will put us to death for it, that God despised this, all right? So that's why he said in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. The them is the nations, all right? Here in America, all the other nations. We have to come from among what? The things that they do that's against our laws, statutes, and commandments. And be ye separate, which means we simply just separate ourselves from those things they're doing. We separate ourselves from that Christian. Let them enjoy their Christmas. It's theirs, but it's not ours as a nation of Israel. Let them celebrate the 4th of July, but it's not ours. That's for them, not for us as the nation of Israel. That's why he said, be ye separate, saith the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17 again. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Saith who? Saith the Lord. So the Lord is saying it. You say you love Christ, the black Messiah, then do what the Lord say. Do exactly what he say. That's love. Love is keeping the commandments. If he say separate yourself, do not participate, do not desire, do not lust for those things, then don't do it. Then that's true love. But if you go the opposite of that, as when I was reading the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17, we follow the ways that you don't love God, you hate God. Because you cannot serve God and mammoth. Right? You cannot serve God and follow the ways of the nations. So once again, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So he don't want you touching a Christmas tree, putting buffs and all types of declaration on it, and going out buying presents. That's unclean. That's an unclean thing. That's just like if you're eating shrimps, crabs, and lobsters. All right, and pork, all right? That's unclean. You're touching it. You're putting it inside your body, all right? You're actually digesting that, all right? You're defiling your temple. And God is saying, once you put a Christmas tree in your house and, you, and you're putting bulbs on it and you're putting all kinds of decorations on it and you're celebrating that day and you're buying gifts and you're honoring that day and you're touching that, once again, he said in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be, ye separate, separate yourself from that. Save the Lord. Save who? Save the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So then he said, I will receive you. All right? So we have to separate ourselves from what? Any of the pagan holidays. Let's go to the book of Nehemiah. Chapter 9, verse 2. So once again, my name is Brother Jacob. This is Unchain Your Mind Radio Broadcast. And we just want our people to understand that we must keep the commandments of God. So don't get enticed by any of these pagan holidays that come up, whether it's 4th of July, whether it's pagan Christmas, whether it's uh, their New Year celebration. Don't let any of that excite you because none of that belongs to us as the nation of Israel. All right. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 2. In the word of God. And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. So that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to separate ourselves from the nations because we were conceived in sin. And as we get this understanding to keep the commandments of God, we're supposed to separate ourselves. We're supposed to what? Confess. Right? Our sins and maintain our faith in keeping the commandments and the iniquities of their fathers because our fathers also sinned. All right? As a matter of fact, let's prove that. Let's go to the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Remember, we still are in captivity, all right, as the nation of Israel. So that's what we're learning to do. We're learning to apply God's laws to our life. We're learning to keep the commandments. We're learning about not to entertain ourselves with idolatry and self-hatred towards one another, all right? The book of Baruch chapter 3, verse 8, because remember what we just read in the book of Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 2 again. 
And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. All right. So we don't want to make the same mistakes that our fathers made. All right. Like we read in what? Deuteronomy 32 verse 17. All right. We want to learn as we apply God's laws to our life. We want to learn and maintain the faith and apply God's laws daily, yearly. So it becomes second nature. It just becomes part of our spirit, part of cleansing all the wickedness out of that temple, which is within ourselves spiritually. All right. We have a spiritual temple and that is what's inside of us. All right. We have to address that sin. And as we apply God's laws within ourselves and our spirit, it conquers that sinful spirit with their righteous spirit. All right. So the book of Baruch chapter three, verse eight. Hey, we're almost finished. I hope you um, enjoying this broadcast. Once again, it's just to inspire people to continue to not lust and have any type of uh, desire to participate in the ways of the nations as they celebrate any of their paganism and their holidays. That's for them, not for us as the nation of Israel. We have to take joy and pride in what is given to us because God said we are above all nations. So we have no reason to have any desire to be following that which is beneath us, which are the other nations. The book of Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. So once again, our fathers also departed from keeping the commandments of God. All right, so they also made the same mistakes going, following the ways of the nation. So that's why God said what he said in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 2. And the seed of Israel, the seed is the nation, all right? The seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers and stood and confessed their sins. So we have to confess that, yes, we was conceived in sin, all right? That's another thing, too. We have to confess, all right, that we were conceived in sin. Matter of fact, let's go there. We're going to go back. The book of Psalms, chapter 51, and we're going to read verse 5. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. So we have to understand we was conceived in sin, all right? We did not come into the world understanding that we must keep the commandments of God. Why? Because it's a learning process, all right? Once again, the book of Psalms, chapter 51, verse 5. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity. And in sin, and what in sin, and what in sin did my mother conceive me? So we all was conceived in sin, all right? Let's read verse 6. Behold, thou desirest the truth. So the truth is God said, look, you're the nation of Israel. you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And the truth is, he do not want us following idolatry, not pagan Christmas, New Year's, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Fourth of July, none of these holidays that the nations have created as traditional holidays. That's why when you look on your calendar, when you go on websites, you say these are American traditional holidays, holidays that are traditional, which is a tradition to the nations. Let's read verse 6 again, Psalm 51, verse 6. Behold, thou desirest truth. So the truth is God said no. In the inward parts and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. And the wisdom is we have to understand it now. That we are the people of God, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That he said in Deuteronomy 76, we are above all nations. Not equal to, not less than after, but we are above all nations. So, once again, we're going to go back to the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 2. And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers. And the strangers are the nations. Esau, the so-called white men, and all the other nations. We followed no customs as the nation of Israel of any of their nations, whether it's the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Romans, the Greeks, the Babylonians. We follow no way of none of the nations, all right? Thus saith the Lord, as the nation of Israel, all right? And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers and stood up and confessed their sins and the, the iniquities of their fathers. So we... 
as we come into repentance, we do confess our sins, that we were in the same sin of our forefathers. So as we come back and understand it, that we must keep the law, statutes, and commandments of God, we must apply God's laws to our life, right? Because remember, let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 9. Because a lot of people just say, well, I'm just celebrating it, and it doesn't mean anything, but God will bring forth judgment upon our people, and he will put us to death because they're participating in it. But many of our people got to die in their sin because they simply will not keep the commandments of God. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 9. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous, there's favor. So when we become righteous, that means we're applying God's laws. We're righteous when we're actually applying God's laws to our life. As the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites of the Bible. That's when we become righteous. Righteous is the laws. Once you apply the laws, and once you obey the laws, then you yourself become righteous. That spirit becomes clean. That light becomes illuminated. All right? That man and that woman. So people can clearly see that you believe and you're obeying the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. All right? Let us read the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 20 through 22. We almost finished to wrap it up. Once again, it's Unchain Your Mind radio broadcast. Just a short broadcast to let our people know that, hey, we must not lust or be enticed by the pagan holidays that the nations put before us as the nation of Israel. All right? Because God give us plenty of holidays to celebrate, and we are above the nations, so why do we want to be equal to them? Because God said he created the earth for our sakes. But we're going to read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And we're going to read verse 20. We're about to wrap it up. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 20. Brethren, be not children in understanding. How be it? And malice be ye. Children, but understanding be men. So we have to understand what God is saying. God said for us not to follow the ways of our fathers in sin. That's why I went to group chapter 3 verse 8. Verse 21. In the law, in what? In the law, it is written with men of other tongues and other lips. Will I speak unto this people? And yet for all of that, will they not hear me? Say, if the Lord, so many of our people are not going to listen. So don't look at our people of the so-called black and Spanish and Native American look like they're just having a good time. You ride by their houses and you see trees in there. You see them in stores and you see them buying gifts. Just look like they're having a good time. Do not, do not feel like you're missing anything. Because God said in verse 21, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 21. In the law, it is written with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people. And yet for all that, will they not hear me, saith the Lord. So many of us would disobey. Because remember what God said in Zechariah 13 and 8. He said two thirds shall be cut off and one third shall be taken through the fire. So let's not go back into what we used to do, which was against God. When we come into sincerely with integrity, honesty, and and integrity, keeping God's commandments, we must always apply the commandments of God to our life, all right? Because when you read 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33, for God is not the author of confusion. God is not confusing us. With idolatry. He's not confusing us with the tradition of man. We're not confused that these pagan holidays is set up. These traditional holidays is set up by the nations. So we're not confused. So once again, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. And we are the saints. So we're going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 148. Verse 14, because we are the saints. We're about to wrap it up once again. My name is Brother Jacob Israel. I hope you enjoyed this radio <coughs> show. All right. So we're going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 148, verse 14. He also exhorted the horn, the horn is Christ, of his people and the praise of all his saints. And we're going to praise him when we're keeping the commandments. And that's when we get that praise back, because when we keep the commandments and we obey God, that praise is there. Psalm chapter 148, verse 14. Last scripture. He
He, exalt, he also exalted the horn of his people and the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So once again, hey, happy Sabbath. I hope you enjoyed this. Hey, remember, don't get dismayed. Don't get enticed. Don't lust for the paganism of Christmas and the flashing lights. Once again, keep the commandments of God and apply it to your life. So with that, I'd like to say shalom, most high in Christ best. The Chain Your Mind Radio Broadcast. Brother Jacob, bring you the word of God, Israel. Understand why we got to keep the commandments. So-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, Israelites in the Bible. Chain Your Mind Radio Broadcast. Chain Your Mind. Keep the commandments of God. The word of God.